Okay, so what I'm about to do here is I'm about to take, uh, I think I'm going to go with this one as a, a body piece. And like I said, you can use any kind of bottle or container for your body. And um, let me see, what shall I do here? Uh, I want it to look, and the suggested piece that uh, you'll see in the presentation is the piece called, by Grace, called Home. And uh, it's a figure, and it has a head. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my head. That spoon is going to be actually be my head. So I've got to kind of finagle around and figure out how I'm going to put that in there. So what I think is I'm going to wrap this around here like that and I'm going to put a little glue in there to keep it and then I'm going to put a little glue around in here. So you kind of have to be ingenious, use your imagination, um, and figure out how you will make things stick together. Of course, if you have a hot glue gun, that makes life always a lot easier. But I'm not going to demonstrate this with hot glue because many people do not have hot glue guns. All right, and so I'm putting that in there, and that's going to be the head of my sculpture. Then I have this, and of course you do need some scissors. So let me grab my scissors. And I like this uh, ribbon right here because it has wire in it. And so I can, I'm gonna cut a couple of strips of this like that. And you know, I'm kind of just letting it happen. Sometimes when you, when you find things and you're like, hmm, how can I use this? So I'm gonna cut a couple of strips and they're gonna be a part of the sculpture. And what's great, like I said, this has a little wire on, um, on the sides of it here, okay? And on both sides. And so you can kind of shape it. And so I'm gonna shape that. I'm gonna curl it up like that. And then I think that would be cool. So you have, I'm, I'm kind of discovering what to do with these things as I go. And that's that's the cool thing about art you can you can make it up as you go along all right so that actually can be a little thing I can continue all the way around and so I want to put a little glue under there so it doesn't fall apart later all right and that be that okay that's coming out I'm gonna hook this one here and then what I'll do is continue to curl these up oops get back on there all right continue to curl those it needs a little more glue and so as I said this is kind of a random selection of materials and each each one of you will have maybe different things that you can use around your house okay I want to trim this one it's got like a little frayed strings there okay and then what I can so since I know how I want to hook it I can go ahead and fix each one of these with the little fold Go ahead and do that. And then, all right, and I'm gonna move this other stuff out of the way since I know what I'm doing with these things. And I'm gonna continue working on that. Then I'll go ahead and curl this part so I don't have to fumble with it when it's on there and keep knocking my sculpture over, all right. Curl that up. So I'm going to just do all three of these other ones. Curl them up. Okay. And so now there, I can also go ahead, now that I know what I'm doing, and put glue on each one and just go ahead and put all of them on there. 
Okay, because sometimes when you don't know what you're doing at first, you kind of like will be fumbling around until you say, oh, okay. Then you create a little assembly line like I just did and figure out all your pieces. Okay, and so there it is. All right, guys, that is coming together. I think this is going to be the front, so let me pull this up a little bit. Okay, so my head and um, my little body part is coming along. It's kind of looking octopus-ish. Octopus -ish. All right. <laughs> now, um, I do have these other things like um, that I pulled out. Let me see if how I want to use that. I like this little sh piece of shell and you might be able to see that. Let me pull it up a little closer into the camera. It's a piece of shell and I'm gonna put a little glue on it because I want it to be right here. And I got another piece of shell I wanna put on there so I'm gonna just add this here. And I'm just really making this up as I go along I know I want it to be sort of like a a um, a body f or figure, and then I'm gonna grab a marker and uh, let me get one of these brown markers. And this is a sharpie permanent marker, and so I'll make a face on there, and that's gonna be the beginnings of. A nose and then eyebrow and the eye and I'm kind of just start generalizing I'm not trying to make it look like a eye and then all right and um, now there is the general face now, of course, when you write on on plastic, it's iffy, depending on what kind. Oh, this one works better. So I'm going over that a little bit with my black Sharpie, and that works a lot better. So my face is more, stands out more, okay? So uh, this, now I'm trying to show it in both cameras, okay? And so there's my face, and I've got the main part of the body together. Now, I can decide on, and once you see Grace's pieces, you'll say, oh, interesting. She does these cages, and you know, which kind of may, maybe speaks to how she feels about certain situations that um, people find themselves in. Uh, like with COVID-19, we all find ourselves in a situation different situations and so I'm gonna use these q-tips it just came to me that I can create something here that resembles a cage and if I put them all at the same level and this dries I can put a top on it later um, that just came to my mind now I have this orange uh, piece of paper and I was thinking earlier, I will put a bottom, like a base. So I'm cutting out this little base here. And I'll sit it on there, but I do need to put a few dots of glue on that. So it will stick to the bottom of my sculpture. Now, sometimes you kind of have to like do parts and let that part dry and so now if I if I stop here and let all of these things dry I can decide later what I want to add to it okay and so I'm gonna just tilt that I know the docu camera is looking straight down on it so let me pick it up a little bit here. And then um, there you can see the beginnings of, now it's kind of rem reminiscent or reminds me of um, African art. 
and Grace Kisa is actually from Kenya. And so there are some influences in um, African art with shape, color, geometric shapes and, and uh, color in her artwork. And you'll see that once you get to, to looking at it. So it is constructing, uh, constructivist type art where you pull things together and I'm going to stop messing with it and there it is. Uh, and then later, let me turn this just so that way and I'm going to put some more glue on that in just a moment. So um, that gives you an idea of what you can do sculpturally um, with, the, with the general materials that you might find, okay? I'm going to 